This is the module 6. NDFC integrates several tools to help you with uh, daily operations. Let's see step by step the key functions that NDFC offers you natively. NDFC is not limited to the network automations. It offers all the required tools for your daily operations, such as the alarm and events, uh, performance monitoring, backup and restore. And it can also help you to visualize the compute stack with uh, health and localization. Let's start with uh, the compute visualization. It exists different type of uh, machines uh, you may want to visualize. And to visualize your virtual compute infrastructure, you need to add the hypervisor credentials. With the current version 12 of NDFC, you can operate three types of virtual infrastructure, such as vCenter from VMware, containers from uh, Kubernetes clusters, and uh, the OpenStack clusters. From the dashboard, you can get the tabular view of all virtual machines with uh, the hosts, uh, networks, and uh, leaf nodes. And after the virtual infrastructure has been added, the hypervisor frameworks appears in the topology view. And from the topology window, you can expand the virtual infrastructure view from the hypervisor cluster and get the details of the compute host, the virtual machines, uh, the virtual switches, and the containers, the pods, and the VLAN ID up to the uh, leaf nodes where the host is attached to. So from the topology view, you can enter the vCenter appliance to view the connectivity between virtual machines and uh, top of rack switches. And when you select uh, the virtual appliance, you have three possible ways to visualize the virtual infrastructure from the host, from the DVS, or from the virtual machines. You can view the connectivity details between the virtual machines and the distributed virtual switches and the information needed, then on which physical host the VM belongs to, up to the physical top of rack nodes with uh, the details of the interfaces on both sides. Let's see all of these details with uh, the next demo. From the left-hand side menu, select Virtual Infrastructure Manager to add a new virtual instance. Select the type of instance you wish to visualize. Based on the features enabled on your NDFC, you can add a vCenter or a Kubernetes or an OpenStack cluster. In this example, you want to add a vCenter appliance. Provide the reachability information as well as the credentials. After a few seconds, the status shows OK. When done, you can look at the topology. A vCenter instance has been added to the topology covering both data centers. Click on the vCenter. You can now access the three key components, the compute, the distributed virtual switches, and the virtual machines. Select the compute space, and you get all the ESXi hosts. You can select one of the ESXi hosts to get more details, such as the DVS attached to it, the VM that belongs to the DVS, and how the ESXi host itself is connected to the leaf nodes, in this case, leaf 1 and leaf 2 in Fabric 1. You can click on the compute node to get further details of the node, such as the status, the vCenter, its IP address, the MAC addresses, the type of UCS, as well as the ESXi versions. You can expand this window if you wish, from where you can get uh, more network details, such as the physical NIC, the VM NICs, the virtual switches, the port group associated to the V switches, the DVS itself as well as all the port groups associated to this DVS. Return to the vCenter node, you can access uh, the details of the DVS and get the list of all DVS deployed in this vCenter. You can select one DVS and expand it to get the list of attached ESXi hosts. You can select one host and look further from this page too. And finally, you can look directly at the list of the VMs. You can filter to retrieve your VMs of interest. Hence, 
the importance of the naming conventions for the VMs. You can also expand the detailed view of a, a particular VM to see where and how it is connected toward the fabric. Thank you. Having a view and status of the virtual network connectivity is crucial for the daily operation. You can identify and localize the virtual machines from the distributed virtual switches up to the leaf node. You can monitor the health of the virtual machines. You can visualize the virtual machine per host or, or, or per DVS. And the virtual infrastructure is not limited to vCenter, but NDFC supports containers and OpenStack. Now, just an additional but very crucial uh, tools to help to display the physical path used for a particular flow. Remember that with VXLAN as the transport, the data flow uses an overlay tunnel initiated between two VTEPs. So by definition, you know the source VTEP and the destination VTEP, the latter being the egress VTEP or the next layer tree hop if you wish. VXLAN OAM is also known as the next generation OAM. This is very visual and uh, very helpful if you need to troubleshoot uh, a flow, for example. And notice that VXLAN OAM is only supported uh, with the easy fabric, meaning VXLAN EVPN fabric. Let's have a short demo. From the action drop down menu, select the uh, VXLAN OAM options, select uh, host to host communications. Add the source IP address, the destination IP address, and the VRF you wish to visualize the flow. After a few seconds, the physical path appears in dotted line with all physical nodes crossed by the concerned flows. You can explore the forwarding path with the next hops uh, crossed to reach the destinations, and the same for the reverse path. 